Kisanoto. We are in Africa. We are going from Nairobi to a place called Kitui, which is about three hours east of Nairobi. So I'm here together with the UNFAO, one of our end customers, and we have Joseph Matera here, who is uh, who is geographical information officer. I'm very pleased to be here with you, and I'm happy to to be able to to. Uh, visit in the field together with you uh, today. So where are we going? Thank you, Frederick and Marcel. Actually, uh, we are going uh, to Kitui, which is three hours uh, uh, east of Nairobi. And thereafter, we go to a market, a livestock market, at uh, a, town, a village called Mulungu. There, we are going to let you see the practical use of the digital pen in capturing data on diseases within the market. As you know, 80% uh, of Kenya is actually rangeland, and they rely a lot on livestock. So it's a very key component on our economy, and this, this ties in very well with food security. So we've been wanting to ensure that we secure the, uh, path, the, the, the farmer's uh, assets, which is the livestock. So one of the biggest problems we have in Kenya is the disease outbreaks. And we wanted to find a very efficient and cost-effective way in which we can be able to know about these disease outbreaks and be able to mobilize teams to mitigate against these diseases, whether it means sending a team to do vaccination or sending a team to do uh, further analysis. It is very important that we get this information in real time and in a cost-effective manner. That's why we're using the digital pen. So we're basically using them to actually undertake disease surveillance all across the arid lands of Kenya. close proximity to Nairobi, so it's a transit point from uh, animals coming in from the, um, the eastern part in Tana River, and if we don't have a cleaning zone within Kitui, then the likelihood of this disease being transmitted to Nairobi are very high, and this has got very high repercussions on the human beings because the mortality rate will, will increase of the animals between here and Nairobi with subsequent uh, negative impacts in terms of the security of food that people are going to consume within those areas. Um, every time the veterinary staff are actually in the market or when they're doing their vaccination campaigns or when they're doing their normal routine um, surveillance, if they come across any disease that they, or when the farmers report to them uh, a, a, sick, a sick animal, then they go and make a diagnosis. And if they find that that disease is a notifiable disease, they actually... Um, send that information immediately to our database using the digital pen and the mobile phone through the GPRS system. So once the, the, the veterinary staff identify this disease, then they're able to stop the sales and the farmer is advised to put the animal under treatment. That way we save the animal and we save the disease from spreading. So f finally, what, what is the biggest uh, difference uh, today comparing to before, when you s before you start using the Anoda solution? Yeah, the biggest difference is that uh, it is really beautiful to have a situation where you can report this information in real time. That is the main advantage of the digital pen, because previously it was taking, as I said, more than a month to get these diseases picked up, but now we are picking them on an hourly basis because I get these forms as they are being sent and you can be able to detect where a disease has been identified and diagnosed within the hour and from there you can start uh, mobilizing your rapid response team. So the biggest difference is now you can get the information real time. Secondly, it's also quite cheap because the cost component is much cheaper to even use. It's cheaper to actually even uh, send when you send a message through the you send the form through the GPRS system, it costs less than even a normal uh, short message service. All right.
right, so Joseph, tell me, what are the benefits compared to other solutions that you have tried before, like PDA and laptops? Uh, yes, one of the things with the digital pen uh, is that it's light, portable, and you can put it in your pocket. Uh, as compared, say, with a laptop or a PDA, uh, PDA and laptop have problem with power supply, and then also the issue of security, because, you know, people in the country know about the value of this, and there's already, there's already market for second-hand PDAs and laptops, so they'll definitely be stolen. But at the moment, digital pen, nobody has... They don't know what's, what they use. Most people don't know what they use for it, and they wouldn't even... Even if they stole it, configuring it to have the unique codes, they would not know how to do it, so it will be, be worthless. So right now, that gives them a, a unique advantage yeah. in terms of its utilization, and its power charge, once it's charged, it can last a whole week right down the fields. But with a laptop or a PDA, you have to have a constant power supply, which is not readily available in most rural parts of Africa. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you're currently using this solution in seven different African countries. Kenya was the latest deployment, uh, but what is the next step for FAO? Uh, for your FAO, we are planning to uh, integrate the uh, livestock movement permits into uh, digital pen technology, where we want to cut the transaction cost so that you get an objection in real time, as opposed to the current practice, where you have to go to the destination, uh, destination district to get your no objection permit from there. Okay, so that's the next, next object. But apart from that, we also are planning to uh, integrate this technology in our food security assessments, and we're also planning to uh, look at the disease surveillance in the cassava project. Okay. And then we also want to talk uh, to our partners in the Ministry of Health to see whether we can integrate this in um, uh, uh, disease surveillance in the, in the health centers within the country.